Alright, what up guys? So today we have the last double feature for the Blu-rays, so yeah, let's check this out. So today we have movies 12 and 13, Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn, and Wrath of the Dragon. Oh, before that, let's try to see if there's anyone here. So it's really hard to tell, but Raditz is like right there where the fist is, and then there's other um, villains that Goku has beaten before. Can't really tell who it is, it might be Frieza. And then maybe Kinyu in the background? Can't really tell, but yeah. So I keep forgetting to mention, but these do have the English music from when they were originally released in the U.S. Um, also the Japanese and, you know, the Japanese dub and subtitles and all that stuff that you would want. And right there you can tell that it says 1080p. And here's the disc. And this manual contains the, uh, the covers of the singles version. And right there it tells you the dates of when they were released in the U.S. So Fusion Reborn 2006. And 2006 as well for Wrath of the Dragon, just a few months uh, later. And then here we got the back side of it. So in the description below I have a link for a comparison between the remastered DVDs and the Blu-rays. The Blu-rays definitely look better, uh, the DVDs only go to 720p. Uh, they do look nicer than the singles version, but they're not as good as the Blu-rays. Uh, so you can check for yourself in, the, in that video. And then, so these two are the movies you're getting. And then also these two collections are about the same price, but you get more movies here. But, either way, I still think it's much better to get them this way, because it's the best you could get them, uh, so you, like, visually and with all the, um, main features. Uh, these ones do have the American soundtrack and stuff like that as well, but these ones definitely look better. So yeah, that's basically all for today, so thank you guys for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, peace.